Hello creators, it's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create and sell personalized napkins on Etsy by using My Designs. So let's jump right in. So the first thing that I like to do before I ever start designing or selling any products is to figure out what's actually selling. So I'm on EtsyHunt.com here and I actually typed in ahead of time, I typed in napkins you can see and then I put the um, customizable option here because I wanted to see personalized products. And I noticed that this top selling item right here that pops up, it's not the top selling in the uh, seven days but in total sales it is. Um, I noticed that this one's doing really well, um, so I'll pull it up here so that you can see what it looks like. Um, it just says, cheers, Olivia and Michael, uh, 62328. So essentially, it's a wedding napkin. Um, they can, I'm sure that they can personalize the cheers part, the name part, and the date part, obviously. Um, but it's super easy to recreate something similar to this. So let's jump over to my designs and we'll get started. So the first thing you need to do if you don't know how or you haven't already done it is to create a collection um, and then jump into that collection. You can see right here under listings, I'm already in a collection called personalized napkin demo. Um, if you don't know how to create a new one, you can just click add folder and then name it whatever you'd like to. Once you're in the collection, you need to go to the canvas under create. Um, and then here, the first thing we want to do is select the proper template. So we can go to templates in the top left corner here. I'm going to type in napkin and we're going to start with the luncheon napkin, even though we're going to offer both of these on the same listing as um, the luncheon luncheon napkin is just a little bit bigger than the beverage napkin. So I like to create my file on the bigger canvas first, and then it's easier to transfer and reduce um, to a smaller size on the smaller canvas. So we'll just select that and then we select just uh, front print area. That's the only thing we have. Next, I want to um, toggle the background off. As you can see, it's white. I'm just gonna click this button here. After I click on the canvas, I can click that and toggle the background off. Um, next, we just need to add some text. So I'm just gonna click add text. Um, and then we're gonna see um, how they had this one. Once again, it just says cheers. And then it says the name and the date. And I'm not gonna get too picky about how this actually looks as I'm not actually going to sell this product. Um, I'm just showing you guys how to create it. So when you're designing, you may want to spend a little more time than I'm doing in this video. Um, but we'll just uh, add it somewhere here in the middle. We're gonna go change the font. I want it to be something like uh, this Lily Script one. Um, I think cursive looks great for wedding events. So it just says cheers, something like that. We can increase the size by quite a bit as that's all it's saying if we would like. Uh, we'll put it right there in the middle. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this exact same um, text box. And then we're going to say something like, I'll use mine and my wife's name. And obviously we're gonna to have to reduce the size of this one quite a bit when it has the names. And then I like to extend the, the box out to the very edges of the print area. That way I know that it'll never extend. So for instance, if somebody orders um, a set of these napkins and the name was longer, um, it would just fill into this text box rather than um, something like that. So that's why I like to extend it um, to keep it all the same. And then they just have the date as well. So I'll go ahead and add text. Um, this isn't the date of our wedding, obviously, because you'd want this to be some future um, date. So let's just say maybe today's 7-2. Let's say maybe it's 7-2 of 2025. So we'll do something like that. And then we'll center it again. We can actually center all of these by clicking it, going to position and then clicking center. And I'm gonna do that with all of them just to make sure that they're exactly right. If it's already um, grayed out like that, that means that it is already centered. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and just move this up towards the middle of the napkin a little more. Um, I think I'm gonna bring the chairs up a little bit more just to make so that it's just slightly separate and then just like that we have our print file um, we do need to save this though the, and, and how to do that you just go to the top right corner you click save to collection you can name the file i'm just going to say personalized wedding napkin i'm going to create a new listing i'm going to save this file that i created in the main file slot and the format is going to be a PNG. It needs to be a PNG so that we can have the transparent background. 
Um, this is a very important step if you are doing a personalized product. You need to make sure that you click save as editable. Um, this little button that toggles on and off. Um, before you click create new listing, that is going to allow us to actually change the text whenever we receive an order. So we're gonna go ahead and click create new listing. And that'll take just a second and then I'll jump back over to it. And now that that's done, this is what our print file looks like. And like I said just a moment ago, I would obviously make this look much better if I was actually selling it, but I just want you guys to know how to do this. So um, if we ever received an order, you would see it on your orders page here, but then you could come into this same file. This is how you know it's personalizable, is if you see this um, little pen button, you can click that, it pulls the file back up, and then let's say the names change. And now this was Kurt and Lacey and then you could just go in and change that you would change the date obviously maybe they wanted it to say something other than cheers you could change that as well but then you would just click overwrite or you would submit this new file to your print partner um, and it, it, that's how easy it is to create and sell these personalized napkins but let's continue on the next step for me here is going to actually be creating some mock-ups so I'm going to make sure I have this listing selected I'm going to then go to mock-ups image mock-ups at the top here, I'm going to change the category to other, and then I'm going to type napkin and hit enter. So now you can see I've got all of our napkins that we have, or all of our um, napkin mockups pulled up, and I'm going to turn multi mockup on as I want to generate more than um, one at a time. And then I'm just going to select a couple of these. Um, I'm not going to get too crazy with it. These are the luncheon ones you can see. These are beverage, so we have to make sure that we map these out the correct way. Um, I'm going to just select a couple. We need to make sure that the color is also white as that is what the napkin is going to be. Um, we can remove this one at the top as we're not selling a t-shirt. That was just the default um, mock-up that was there. Um, so let's go change all these colors to white. It looks like this one already is and this one already is as well. So um, I'm going to just stick with those four mock-ups. We'll then go create our print file for the um, the beverage version of the napkins and then I'll create some more mock-ups for those as well. So once these are all um, done you can make sure you um, excuse me map them the right way or wherever you want them to save in these file slots. These are all empty file slots that I just named mock-up 1 through 10. We're going to go 1, 2, whoop, it'll t it'll, you'll get a uh, red error there that says duplicate output slots if you have the same one twice. And then we'll move this one to four. And then I'm going to go ahead and click generate mockups. And just like that, it's going to create those four mockups for me. And you'll see them populate in these four file slots down here. You can see it just says job completed. So those should populate any second here. And then I'll show you what those look at look like. It looks like I may need to refresh the page as it's uh well give it, there we go. Okay. So this is what the mockups look like here. I think they look fantastic. Um, but we'll go ahead and create the next print file now. So we'll create the next one in the exact same way we created the first one, which is just to go back to canvas. We're going to then go to templates. We're going to type napkin again. And this time we're going to select beverage napkin. It's the same print partner, just a slightly different print area. I'll remove this background again. Well, actually I missed one important step here. So I've got to go back to listings. I've got to edit this one and I actually need to control copy this file right here. I think I should be able to paste this over to the um, the new one, but give me one moment and we'll make sure. So go to beverage napkins, make sure we have it selected. I'm going to toggle the area off. There we go. So as you can see, that is the size difference. This is the exact same uh, text size. So this is what I like to do is start with the bigger one first, and then I go ahead and reduce this down to fit the canvas area, just like the last one and then we'll put it more towards the middle. And then we'll go ahead and save this one to a collection as a new listing again. This one we're gonna say beverage napkin. We're gonna save it as the main file slot, or excuse me, we don't want this saved to a new listing. I'm sorry, we want it saved to the same listing um, as it's gonna be one listing that offers two products. So then we want the file slot here. We'll just move it down to mockup 10. And then once again, make sure we save this as editable and then create new file. So now that that file is created, we're going to go back into mockups and we're going to use the new file, the, the one with the correct template to create the new mockups. So we'll go ahead and go back to listings here. 
And then as you can see, here is our new print file. So now we'll go back to mockups, image mockup. Once again, we need to change it from clothing to other. And then we're gonna type napkin and hit enter. I'm gonna turn multi mockup back on. And then we're just gonna select a couple of these beverage napkin options. The thing you need to make sure that we do here now is to make sure that we change the input file slot to, as you can see, it's our main file that was for the um, luncheon napkins. This needs to be mockup 10, which is where we saved the file for the beverage napkins. So I'm gonna just go ahead and change all three of these. I'm not worried, or excuse me, I do need to change these, it looks like, because we've got duplicate slots. So we'll go five, six, and then we'll change this one to seven. Um, and we'll make sure we change the colors as well. I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit trying to do this before I double check things like that, but it looks like it's um, correct now. So we'll go ahead and click generate mockups. Um, that will take just a second. And while that uh, loads, we're gonna go ahead and actually just start creating our uh, data. We have a feature here that's somewhat new. Um, a lot of our current customers use it, but it's uh, called Vision AI. So what it does is it scans your actual image and then it just creates your data for you um, based off that. You can see it's here. You just need to make sure you have the, the um, listing selected. You'll go to Vision AI. I'm gonna select the main file. It really doesn't matter which one we select as they're both the same. We're gonna change this to a napkin and it looks like we actually may not have napkins under the product product type yet. So we'll just type it in there and then I'll do some custom instructions down here. Um, we want the platform as Etsy. The model is our newest one. We do want it to generate title, description, and tags. And so we're gonna go ahead and do custom instructions and say, this is a personalized napkin for weddings. Please include this in the data. And then we'll go ahead and see what this comes up with. So I'll click generate listing data. Now, while that generates the data, I do wanna show you these additional mockups. You're not gonna notice much of a difference from the two. As you can see, that's the luncheon, that's the beverage. The only difference is the um, beverage is just slightly smaller. But that is what those mockups look like. And now we'll jump over to some of this data to make sure it all looks good. So it says custom wedding napkin, personalized wedding favor, cheers napkin, couple names and wedding date elegant wedding decoration. So I think that's fantastic. Vision AI always does a really, really good job. What I always recommend to people is that, um, or tell people rather, is that it gets you about 90% of the way there. And then I always recommend adding your own keywords, doing your own research, um, just to make sure that things are um, flowing the right way. And also obviously that you're not getting any trademark things there. Um, AI typically won't pull anything trademarked as it does take that into account, but I'm sure there is occasional times where it does on accident. So this looks great to me. I'm not gonna go through all of it, um, like I said, as I'm just showing you an example. But once we get to this point, we have our mockups done, we have our data filled out, and we have our print files ready. So all we have to do from here is publish this onto our Etsy shop. And we can do that by going to the top right corner here, clicking publish. We're gonna click under print on demand, we're gonna click Etsy. This should all be mapped automatically the right way for you. And then you can just click pick a product. I'm gonna just search napkin here so I don't have to go looking for it. And then we're gonna start with the luncheon, luncheon napkin. Uh, Taylor is our only print partner that we offer these um, through right now. Obviously we'll get more in the future. Um, and then at this point, you can see I want to add an additional product. You can see the luncheon napkin. This is how you sell multiple products on one listing. Click add product. And then I'm gonna type napkin again and you'll see the beverage napkin now as well. We're gonna select Taylor. And then just like that, we now have our two products where you can come and change or change anything you'd like here, the sizes you're offering or the amount you're offering rather. Um, and then we can show additional images by clicking this box here. And then we'll go ahead and select all of the mockups that we generated as we would rather them see these than the generic one. So here is where we want to make sure that um, we select the correct, um, we want to delete this mockup, excuse me, as I saw it down here, we don't want that twice. We want to make sure the primary mockup is up front. So whatever one of these we think looks the best, we want that as the front one, because that's going to be the main image showing on Etsy. So I personally think it's this one here. I'm gonna move it over right there. 
And then um, it looks like everything is good to go. We're gonna make sure we have all these checked. So from here, all we have to do is choose prices. Um, and I don't remember the exact pricing that I have um, for these napkins, but once again, I'm not actually selling them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say $250 and replace all of them with this. Um, for both the beverage and the luncheon, luncheon, excuse me. Um, like I said as well earlier, how I didn't spend a lot of time designing this, I also would most certainly change my pricing to um, obviously not be the exact same across the board. Uh, you can see the approximate profit here. Um, it's gonna be crazy on some of these, but that you would never sell it for this high anyways. So once we have our pricing um, filled out the way that we'd like it to be, we just click preview publish info. This shows us like one last preview of what our actual listing looks like before we publish it to Etsy. So once again, this is extremely important right here. Before you publish, you need to make sure you click the personalization field as this is, um, it, it won't go onto your Etsy shop as a personalized item if you don't do this. So then we can just do the personalized instructions. Um, I'm gonna say something like, every field on this napkin is customizable. You can change whatever you would like. Please include one, the saying, and then I'm gonna do cheers on this one. Two, names, and three, date of the event. And then we'll go ahead and leave the response character limit at 256, and we will click publish. Now this will take just a second to um, finish this job, maybe 10, 20 seconds, and then I'm gonna jump over to our Etsy shop to show you what this listing looks like there. I'm now over on our Etsy shop, and as you can see, here is our listing. You can see it looks fantastic. Um, it has all the mock-ups that we selected, and, and the one is our primary that I talked about as well. Uh, you can see the title here. Uh, everything looks exactly how we set it up, which is perfect. Um, and that is how easy it is to actually create and sell um, personalized napkins through my designs on your Etsy shop. And you can also do the exact same thing on your Shopify store if you have one of them. Um, this was just a, a demo for Etsy, but I hope everything made sense. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.